He's my favorite dog. Oh, no, 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 no. There's no need for that. Uh, <laughs> well, don't worry, Lily. Um, oh, yes, I know. Why don't I tell you all about why we have Dalmatian dogs at the fire station? There. That will be interesting, won't it, Lily? Uh, yes. You see, Dalmatians get on very well with horses. And in the old days, when fire engines were pulled by horses, the firefighters used to keep Dalmatians, just like radar, and the Dalmatians would run along next to the horses to clear the way and protect them. I want to pet radar. Oh, yes, well, yes. Shoo, 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 shoo. I am going to make their boring hayride the most exciting and scary hayride ever! Because I am going to appear uh, as the ghost of... Ponty Pondy Wrench! Flange bracket! Oh, thank you for helping me do, uh, what have we just done, Penny? We finished Radar's seat and we've made one extra addition to Jupiter. Now jump in the cab and press the button. Oh! You see, Elvis? From now on, if you ever need to fix Jupiter when you're out and about, you've got your toolkit with you. Oh, we're very clever, aren't we, Penny? We are, Elvis. We really are. You're doing really well, Hannah. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. Oh, I'm enjoying this. Lovely, relaxing ride. Ooh! I am the scary, spooky ghost of Ponty Pie. Pete. Um, you're not actually that scary, Norman. I didn't even drop me sausage. You're not making the ride more scary, Norman. You're just making it weird. Wait a minute. That's your Auntie Phyllis's hat. It's not! It's a pirate hat! <laughs> Whoa, Prince! Whoa! Oof! Oof! Hannah! <gasps> I've dropped my sausage! Oopsie. I think we'd better call the rescue team. The ghost of Ponty Pandy Pete has scared a horse and now it's pulling a cart at high speed with passengers on board. The ghost of Ponty Pandy Pete has scared a horse and now it's pulling a cart at high speed with passengers on board. Ah, oh, that's a new one. Let's get you buckled into your new sea trader. No sirens today, Elvis. We don't want to scare the horse even more. Sam, Lizzie, we're going to need backup. Roger that, Elvis. I'll be with you as soon as I can. I'm on my way. Slow down, Prince! Slow down! Whoa! 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 It's horse for stop! <gasps> oh no, Penny. How are we going to rescue them without scaring the horse even more? I don't know, Elvis. What is it, Radar? I think he wants to get out. Radar! I hope he's not going to scare the horse. Don't worry, Penny. Radar's known Prince since they were both little. Radar won't scare him. <laughs> doing what fire station dogs used to do in the old days. 
looking after the horses. He's matching his pace and slowing him down. <laughs> from the sea monster. <laughs> it's only seaweed, Norman. What? Seaweed? But why did Penny put stinky old seaweed on our boat? So we can bag it up and log it. It's on page 52. But first, we have to measure the water temperature and take map readings of where it was gathered. Ah, oh, that sounds like boring science. I would rather be measuring a kraken. Come on, you big spotty scallywag. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Maybe I should look for the spotted ray and you steer the boat for a while, Mike. Uh, I am a fisherman after all. <laughs> oh, well, aye, aye, Mon Capitan. Let's try somewhere else. Uh, head down to the lighthouse, Mike. Aye, aye. Full steam ahead. Skilly boom, skilly boom. Whoa, whoa. Oh, no, Mike. You need to press the throttle gently. <laughs> Man overboard. Uh, I'm coming, Captain. Uh, uh, don't turn to your port side, Mike. There's rocks over. <gasps> there. Oh no! I've sprung a leak! Mayday! Mayday! Um, uh, oh, yeah, this'll do the trick. Ah! Don't point it at me! Point it up! Oh, yeah, yeah. sorry, Charlie. Uh, I mean, uh, Capitan! Ship. And now, embrace Tiger and return to Mountain. Huh? Oh no! I wonder what that is. It looks like Mike and Charlie are in trouble. We'd better call Ocean Rescue. Hard. Don't worry, Mandy. I'll get it. Um, how dangerous can quicksand be? Oh. Not thinking Wait. of going out there, are you, Norman? Um, no. I was just doing my uh, pointy toe stretches. Um. Uh... <sighs> mm. Well, as I told you before. Do not go past the signs. It's just too dangerous. Great, Norman. Now we can't play anymore. W well, I think there's a football in the back of Mike's van. Maybe you can play with that instead. Wait, where is Mike? Don't worry, Cridlington. I know my way around a trailer. You need to turn left. And then the trailer will go right. No, sir. That's only when you're going backwards. <laughs> going forwards, you turn left to go left. No. Surely left is right and right is left. <laughs> oh, my brain is going scrambly. Never mind left and right. How do I go straight ahead? Well, you are... Ah. Oh, I see. I think... 
think we might be blocking the road a little bit. Reverse out of the way, Cridlington. Let the traffic through. I think I might have gone over a bump. Cridlington, you've burst the tyre. Well, technically, the rock burst the tyre, sir. Elvis just happened to be driving at the time. I'll get a photo of you if it's the last thing I do. Come out, come out, wherever you... Oh. Wait, wait a minute. What? Where? Can you pick up a scent? <laughs> uh, keep an eye on everything, Elvis. We're on the hunt for the boot bandit. Well done, girl. It looks like we found the culprit's hideout. <gasps> Nipper! <sighs> that boot might be old, but it's not for chewing. Come on, give it back. Good boy. Good boy! Nipper! Come back! Shadow, follow that boot bandit! The Scarlet Firestorm has been lost for 300 years. I can't wait to see it for myself. Dad, are you sure the boat is strong enough for this? Um, well, let's give it a try, James. The professor's counting on us. It's not moving. More power, Dad. I'm at full throttle already. Come in, Yellow Tuna. We're going to need more. I want full power from all of you! So, this is Neptune. She's our... Nipper? Aha! Uh... Uh -huh. Freeze! No, oh, no, no! That's Admiral Jones's boot. They'll tear it in half. Uh, Elvis, I think we might need to offer Nipper some alternative footwear to play with. Oh, gotcha, Sam. Uh, Rita, where's the stinky? Where is it? Go fetch it. Oh, Professor Pickles will be furious. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Rita. Uh, Nipper, fetch. <laughs> Nice work, team. But where did that tatty-looking slipper come from? Has anyone seen my other night duty? <gasps> there it is! My slipper! <laughs> come back here, you slobbering hound! <laughs> oh, I don't like the sound of that! Faster! Faster! Keep going, Dad! If the soap master gets covered in sticky oil, we'll never get it clean. Stop! Your engine is on fire! The oil is coming towards us! Oh no, we've lost power! We can't move! Better call Ocean Rescue! Oh, will you look at that? My poor slipper. It's not the slipper it was, sir. There's a burning oil slick near Ponty Pandy Island, and Professor Pickles and his party are in peril. There's a burning oil slick near Ponty Pandy Island, and Professor Pickles and his party are in peril. Oh, that wasn't easy to say. Um, looks like you'll need Titan, Neptune, and Juno today, Sam.
We're going to need that oil skimmer. I'll go and get it. Maybe the anchor came loose. Come on, we need to paddle after it. Jordi, my kayak is being pulled sideways. Mm, mine too. We've been caught in a riptide. That must be what happened to the boat. What's a riptide? It's fast-moving water that can pull you in the wrong direction. Oh, what are we going to do? Well, first thing is, don't panic. It's not going to pull us under. But we do need to get to the boat. Oh, I'm not getting anywhere. We need to go with the current. Whoa! Jody! You can make it to the boat. No problem. I've won trophies in kayaking. You need to paddle parallel to the shore for as long as you can. If you do that, the riptide will help you along. <sighs> you sure you're okay? Yes. I'll just drift with the flow and save my energy. Get to that boat. Oh, hang on. You've missed a bit. And be careful not to put it on streaky. I've got my reputation as a master craftsman to think about. I think I'm going to abseil down there. Take my paintbrush and... There. I think we're done. Well, that's a good day's work I've just done there. <laughs> I'll give him a good day's work in a minute. Take a deep breath, Ellie. Ocean Rescue! Wait! You are Ocean Rescue! <gasps> it's Charlie's boat! Looks like it's been pulled by a riptide! Hannah and Jodie are out there today. I'd better contact Ben. Jodie and Hannah are caught in a strong riptide near the rocks at Pontypandy Point. Jody and Hannah are caught in a strong riptide near the rocks at Ponty Pandy Point. Sam, Ellie, we're on our way. I'll pick you up at the bottom of the cliffs. Roger that, Penny. Mercury would thrash Phoenix any day. Oh, <gasps> don't listen to her, Phoenix. I knew you would win. Well, I don't suppose we'll ever find out. Anyways... Unless... We do a competitive drill. Exactly. But... but... they're completely different vehicles. How would that work? Easy. They can both drive on completely different terrains. <sighs> Elvis, you take the ridge road, and Ellie, you take the forest road. And I'll time you. Yes! Of course this is happening. Let's head over to the finish line. We can watch from there. Nipper! 
should be herding Wooly, not playing with her. Is this how they do it on Dog versus Sheep, Grandad? <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> no, no, I don't think so. I, I think Nipper might have missed a few episodes. Uh, come on, let's round Wooly up ourselves. <laughs> That's it, you two. Now, if we can just ease Wooly toward the open gate. Nipper, stop! Nipper! Ah! Grandad, is this how they do it on Dog vs. Sheep? No, James, Wooly is hurting me. Grandad versus sheep! <laughs> She's in the paddock! Quick, James, close the gate! Ooh. There, safely in. Ah. Grandad! Oh no! They're running away up the mountain! Oh dear. Three, two, one! is handling Phoenix like a dream. Ellie's not doing badly, too. Go, Ellie! Oh, I know. I'll make a finish line for them. Really? Didn't you say this wouldn't be competitive? Oh, that was earlier. Hurry, we need to make a checkered flag. Nipper! Yeah, oh, my goodness. It's getting steeper. Don't worry, Grandad. Not much further. Wait! What was that? That's Nipper and Wooly. Oh, oh. Better call Mountain Rescue! Nipper, the dog, and Wooly, the sheep, are stuck on a cliff ledge up in the mountains. <laughs> Looks like a tie to me. Nipper the dog and Wooly the sheep are stuck on a cliff ledge up in the mountains. Roger that, Arnold. We're on our way. Uh, Lizzie, we'll go ahead and meet you at the top. Roger that, Sam. That looks like a shortcut to me. <laughs> and next that this is the control room. I know all about the control room. Quiet, James. As I was saying, next, I think we should go out and see all our police cars. Come on. I'll even show you how to turn on the siren. Yes! <laughs> but I haven't shown everyone how I know about the control panel yet. James, you're not a real deputy and you don't know loads of stuff about the control panel. Do too. And I can prove it. Okay. What does that button?
button do? Easy! It switches on the police radio! Hmm, what about that one? Um, it's, uh... Lockdown initiated. Lockdown initiated. Lockdown initiated. Oh, dear. Oh, 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 nothing wrong with a little shortcut. Oh, oh, my leg. Oh, I think I've pulled something. Oh, 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 I can't run another oh, step. Oh. oh, Mercury's still here. I thought Station Officer Steele had given up and gone home. Do you think he's got his phone with him? Ha, not in those spandex shorts. Maybe we should go and look for him. Good idea. You go that way, and I'll look this way. I don't know what to do. I thought you knew everything about the control panel. Not everything, just some things. I'm only a deputy. I don't think that was the right button. Just keep trying. Think. I've... Uh... Got it! We're in! Brilliant! Uh... Oh, no. Oh. No sign of him this way. Or this way. And it's getting late. Hmm. I think we'd better call the police station. Hang on. Don't we have a manual override key somewhere? Yes. It's in the car. This is so exciting! Station Officer Steele has been reported missing while wearing spandex. We need to launch a search and rescue mission. Oh no! Did you hear that? Yes! Station Officer Steele is wearing spandex! No! He's missing! What are you going to do, Deputy James? Oh! So now I'm a deputy, am I? Just do something! Thanks, Sam. Controls all look good. Yep. All ready for her maintenance test, Ben. Oh, well, that's lucky. Because I know for a fact the inspector doing the test is quite strict and very scary. The inspector is scary? Um, how do you know that, Penny? Because... I'm the inspector! Passed my inspector's exam last week. Oh, OK. But you're not scary. Oh, really? Well, we'll see about that. Now, you two, check the floats. I'll start the tests. Yes, yes inspector. inspector! OK. We've checked all the floats. <laughs> oh! <laughs> the horn works. Tick. Told you I was scary. Hmm, maybe she is. But she's not the only one who can be scary. So, who wants to land on the beach first? Me, 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 me. Oh no, not the beach! Impossible! What? Why not? Because our ancestors first landed around... <laughs> there. That might be so, Professor Pickles, but in these coracles, the beach would be the easiest and safest place to land. That's as may be, but we need to do it like they did in olden times. Follow me! <laughs> but... but... Hurry up, Sarah! Oh, there in a minute! Just a bit more to do! Come on! Oh, nearly there! Just a few more sweeps! There! That must have done it! Oh, no! Why is hay so impossible to move? Come on, Kilo! way to do this. Oh, just the thing. 
Oh, uh, hi, Elvis. Uh, come on, Radar. Come back, Radar. Oh, hi, Elvis. Just bathing Radar. <laughs> Radar. Oh, I normally just give him a dog biscuit and he jumps right in. Ah, thanks, Elvis. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Ah! Oh, oh. oh, sorry, Ellie. See, all you needed was a biscuit. <laughs> yep, this'll do it. Why didn't I think of this before? There you go, James. That's the way to do it. What? Oh, this isn't fair! Or we could take two trips to the quay. I'm not going to be beaten that easily. Oh, look at Hannah! She's brilliant! Go, go, Hannah! Go, Hannah! Go, Hannah! Go, Hannah! Go, Hannah. Go, Hannah. Go, Hannah. Go, Hannah. Uh, you're doing very well, Hannah. And uh, one day you might even be able to do... This? Well, I'll give it a go. Okay. How about this? Oh, wow! Wow! Well, that, of course, is a trick called the... Uh, reverse spin flying saucer flip-flop. It just looked like a flop to me. Thank you, Norman. Anyway, hoop trundling isn't about tricks. It's about racing. So, who's up for their first race? Me! Oh, me, me, me. me. And whoever wins will be Ponty Pandy's new hoop trundle champion. But, Trevor, you should join in and defend your title. Oh, uh, I'm not sure I'm up to racing these days. Oh, go on, Trevor. It'll be fun. Oh. OK, then. Right. We'll race to the old tree stump by the river. Everyone line up. Oh, this is going to be great. I like hoop trundling. Right. Three, two, one, hoop trundle. Move the big one to the left and the skinny one to the right. Oh, good one, Ellie. One more to go. It's got to fit this time. Right, Sam. Move the top one over slightly to the left, then slot it in. Oh, uh... Actually, I don't think that's going to... Oh. Can I have a go? OK, Elvis. Give it your best shot. Yeah. We can't leave the food here. Remember that fox that keeps eating our feasts? Oh, yeah. He's a cunning one. He always gets our food, eh? Do you remember the fox-proof box? And what about the fox-proof hole? And who could forget the fox-proof raft? The problem with all of those things was that they weren't very... Mm, fox-proof. Uh, but this time... Our feast will be completely safe. Ha-ha! 
Introducing the Foxproof Bag. <gasps> That's brilliant, mate. There's no way that fox is going to get in our feast now. Yeah, so let's go foraging. <laughs> um, can someone help me up, please? That's it, Charlie. I want to see the heart of the ocean through my lens. Give me your best seafaring face. Um, I've only got one face. Did you get a good photo, Mummy? Not bad, but I don't think I've snapped the winning shot yet. Oh, I know. Why don't you take a photo of Ben? I bet he has a seafaring face. Bet he does. Ben! Cooey! Ben! You're just the person I need. Uh, me? Uh, am I? Oh, yes. How would you like to be on the cover of the Ponty Pandy calendar? Um. Perfect. Bring your surfy What's It thingy. Come on, to the beach. You ready for that bucket of water, Sam? Anything for a good shot, Ellie. This is going to look amazing. Cue the wind, Sarah. Wind in three, two, one. Oh, look at me. I'm a cowboy. <laughs> Howdy, partners. I am ready for my close-up, ma'am. Um, Elvis, sorry, but you don't really look much like a cowboy. Oh, don't I? Well, you're dressed like a firefighter and you're on a plastic horse. Oh. Cue the water, Sarah. I'm on it. Let's go. Come on, Sam. Pick up the pace. Uh, well, I'm going as fast as I can, Ellie. This is our second bag full. Norman, I thought you saw where the seagull landed. It's not my fault if all these islands look the same. Shaggy! I want Shaggy! Don't worry, Lily. I'm sure we're... Ah! Shaggy! Oh, come on! Oh, no! I think we've got a bigger problem than Lily's shark! Right, listen up, people. The tide's coming in, so we need to finish the litter pick now. Woohoo! I think we may have collected the most rubbish, Sam. It's the litter picking that counts, Ellie, not the winning. Although I think you might be right. Come on, Mrs. Chen. We're all done. We should head back to the children now. Oh. Okay, Helen. Wait a minute. Where are the children? Oh, no! What are we gonna do? Nobody knows we're here! This is really not fair. I want to make up an exciting weather report. If you can do it, then why can't I? But it's not time for your weather report, Norman. <clears throat> Breaking news! Several large trucks have joined the traffic jam. Oh! Oh, just... unfair with no jams! <laughs> Oh, you okay, Mike? I was turning around to avoid the great big enormous traffic jam when I, when, when I got stuck. Oh, well, don't worry. I'll uh, I'll put some cones out to keep you safe and let Sergeant Ravani know you're stuck. Let go, go uh, Norman! Give me the microphone. I want to tell the listeners about the twister that's on its way. But there isn't a twister, Norman. 
Uh, that didn't uh, stop Bandy uh, saying there was a traffic jam. Uh, uh, it's a twister! It's a twister! Ah! I've just seen Woolly the sheep fly by! Ah! Stop it, Norman! <laughs> oh. to call the fire station. What, what about my weather report? Mandy Flood's radio show is on fire. Oh, and Mike Flood's van is blocking the road. Mandy Flood's radio show is on fire. Oh, and Mike Flood's van is blocking the road. Sam, you take Jupiter. Elvis, you take Phoenix to clear the road. Roger, Roger that, sir. sir. Penny, Ellie, you take Venus too and go across country to avoid the blocked road. I'll call Sergeant Ravani to back you up. Stuff a freezer, don't you? <laughs> um, 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 um. Oh no! Don't worry about those now, Dillis. We need to get all these others in the freezers quickly. Oh, oh, careful, Trevor! Ah, there, right. Dillis, I think we're gonna need more freezers. This one is nearly full. Don't worry, Trevor. I've got a couple out the back that I can plug in. Won't be two ticks. Oh. Here, Trevor, I just need to plug these in. Trevor, where are you? Here, Dillis. Well, stop lazing around. We need to get these freezers filled up. There, all plugged in and ready to go. Are there sandwiches in these backpacks, Ellie? <laughs> no, Norman. They just have some sandbags in. So you know what it feels like to have the weight of an air tank on your back. Now. When we go into a burning building, we each give the person with the ECB our tags so they can always see how much air we have left. Fire Cadet Norman, air at 100%. Oh, Fire Cadet Norman! Did you hear that, Mandy? This is so exciting! <sighs> Fire Cadet James, air at 100%. Fire Cadet Sarah, air at 100%. Now, go find Dolly! Oh, I can't believe we get to go in the fire station training tower! Woohoo! Yeah, let's go! Hooray! <sighs> I've got eyes on Dolly! We're actually going to rescue someone! Oh, 
I'm not getting to rescue anyone. I'm doing absolutely nothing. Just like James said. <laughs> <laughs> this is just like being a real firefighter. This is so unfair. I'm going in. Wait, but... Mandy, what are you doing here? I want to be doing the important stuff like you. Here, let me take one of Dolly's feet. Oh, I've already got it. Oh, stop it, you two. We're all supposed to be doing this as a team. No. Oh. Oh. Mandy, you've made Dolly's foot fall off. <sighs> Dolly has survived for five years of our drills. But one afternoon with the cadets and she's got her foot off. Right, Trevor. You vacuum those peas up and I'll put these packets in the freezer. <laughs> The cut price store is on fire, and Trevor, my hero, is trapped inside with half a ton of frozen peas. I've rescued Dolly's foot! The cut price store is on fire, and Trevor, my hero, I mean, Dillis's hero, is trapped inside with half a ton of frozen peas. Quick, let's follow her. She's really good at finding stuff. This is going to look great on the wall. Yeah, hey, kids. Yeah, don't go far. We won't. You might have found everything else on the list, Mandy, but you will never find that pansy. To move a horse in an emergency, you need to loosely hold the reins and say, walk on. Let's try it. Me? Uh, right. Okay. Uh, walk on. Oh. Oh, he's... Look at me, Sam. I'm doing it. Kilo, whoa. Right, Sam. Your turn. <laughs> Uh, right. Here we go. Uh, walk on. Oh! Uh, huh? Uh, Sam, I'm not sure he likes you. Moose told us not to go too far. Maybe we should head back. Ah! So much for your big plan. I don't see any pansies here. <gasps> Up there! There are green leaves growing out of that rock, and I think I can see a bit of purple. I'm definitely going on the Wall of Fame now. Well, if Mandy's getting a photo of the pansy, then so am I. Me too. Oh, that's not what I meant by heading back. Just need to get a bit closer. collapsing hill near the Mountain Activity Center. 
What? Yes, Norman. Your mummy said that you were going on the tour and she knew you'd want your favourite cousin to go with you. But, 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 my cousin Jenny isn't here. She meant me, Norman, and you know it. It's even more special now, eh, Norman? I bet it's not as good as the New Town Pirate Museum tour. you want another sandwich? Uh, uh, no, thanks, Dad. I'm just going to check that the uh, uh, paddleboard hasn't um, floated away. James! <laughs> what are you doing? Sarah, you made me jump. We're not allowed on the river without Dad watching. <laughs> You just want another turn. What? No! No, I'm serious! Stop! James! What was that, Sarah? I can't hear you. I'm too busy paddling away from you. For such a big and powerful boat, Titan steering is quite sensitive. So you don't have to be super strong to turn her. Whoa! Imagine steering Titan, Derek. Meh. Oh! Can I flick this switch? Please don't touch that. Can I fire a water cannon? You're not firing a water cannon. Can I turn on Titan's engine and drive it round the key? Absolutely not. I thought this was a special tour. When I was at Newtown Pirate Museum, they let me do anything I wanted. I seriously doubt that. Good is it? Well, yes, you are, but paddle back before Dad finds out or you'll be in so much trouble. Will I? Oh, maybe I will. Okay, Sarah, turning around now. Um, why isn't this thing turning? It's not turning. I heard shouting. What's James doing? James! Dad, the river's too far. Can't follow him. There's nothing but marsh from now on. Better call Ocean Rescue. James Jones has been swept down river on a paddleboard. Last seen heading towards the sea. <gasps> James Jones has been swept down river on a paddleboard. Last seen heading towards the sea. Let's go, Paddy. Come on, kids. Come with me. We can watch the team in action. You're going to have a great view. I bet it's not as good as the new town. Ooh! Well, I suppose that was quite good. Oh, wow! Titan is going too. This is a
Sorry. Oh, I see. You're protecting your nest. Don't worry. I'll stay up this end. Oh, but I still need to let the rescue team know where I am. Somehow. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, everyone spread out. We need to widen the search area. No sign of them yet, Penny. Nothing from up here. It's such a big area. Hey! I'm here! Over here! Over here! Hang on. I see something. What is it, Sergeant Trevani? I found him. It's James. But I can't land to rescue him. It's nesting season, and I don't want to upset the birds. Sam, can you go? Neptune won't be able to get in there. Roger that, Penny. Juno is made for this. Uncle Sam! I'm over here! James! Careful, Uncle Sam. There's a very grumpy bird here. What are you lot doing up here at this time? We're doing a Y-Files investigation. A what a tea what what files The Y-Files. We're heading into the woods to crack the mystery of the beast of Ponty Pandy Mountain. Oh, of course you are. But it'll be dark soon. We have torches. Uh, do you think one of us should go with them? You know, just in case. Well, since I got to help solve the case last time... Ellie, why don't you have a go? All right, then. I love a good mystery. Wait for me! Has anyone heard anything? Oh, maybe that whale song's a little too loud. Now, close your eyes and feel the gentle breeze, be at one with the song of the whales. And breathe in the fragrance of the seaweed candles. Ew! Oh, Mrs. Chen, what was that? Well, it didn't sound like a whale. I think there's something out there. Well, whatever it is, it's not going to ruin our whale song forest retreat. Come on, Bronwyn, let's go and have a look. <gasps> That's it. That's the sound. Oh, no! My, my oh. torch! Oh. Norman, will you please stop stepping on sticks? You better not have scared off the beast. Oh, I really hope he has. What's that? It's coming from over there, Norman. Are you sure? It sounded more like over there to me. Okay. Why don't we just call out and ask who's there? You never call out who's there in a mysterious mystery investigation, Ellie. When this kind of thing happens, there is only one thing you can do. Run? No! We split up. Agent Price, you go that way. I'll go this way. Roger that, Agent Sparks. Wait, don't run off. Oh, this is going well. Can I stay with you, Ellie? I thought you were a wild man from the Canadian wilderness, Moose. I'm fine with a cougar, even a grizzly. But everyone knows that Ponty Pandy is famous for its fire-breathing dragons. <laughs> It's okay, Moose. There aren't any dragons around here. But there is something strange going on.
Uncle Sam! Hello, kids! This is your special surprise. Fireman Sam has invited us all to the park to watch Radar's obstacle course training. Yes! Hello! Still stuck! So, we haven't even started yet and Norman Price already needs rescuing. <laughs> Nippa! Come back, boy! And... Oh, no. I just squashed my potato. Forget that nasty potato, mate. Oh, I really want to eat that chicken. But it's been in Nipper's mouth. The wild men don't care about things like that. That's the flavour, eh? I'm beginning to wonder if I really want to be a wild man. Oh, no. He's getting close to the edge. Careful, Nipper. What are we going to do? He might drop the chicken. Let the chicken go, Nipper! It's not too late! Bring back the chicken and I'll make you a sausage! Wait a minute, you've got sausages? I want a sausage! I want a sausage too, but not as much as that chicken. It's not worth it, Nipper! Not when you can have a tasty sausage! Right, so Elvis and Radar have something very special to show you, haven't you, Elvis? Yes, Sam, we have. Now, I've been teaching Radar to demonstrate what to do if your clothes catch on fire. Come on then, Radar. Let's show the boys and girls what to do. Radar, you know what to do. You stop moving and you drop to the ground. Uh, look! Ah! Uh, you cover your face, then roll around. <laughs> now you do it, Radar. Do you want me to show you again? You stop, drop, oh, cover your face, and roll around.